Hey everyone, it's Jeff Anderson from Modern Combat and Survival Magazine. In this episode, we're going to talk about improvised weapons. As a matter of fact, we're going to talk specifically about your improvised weapons toolkit to help you fashion improvised weapons. Check it out. Alright, any true survivalist knows that disasters can be violent. You always have the threat of looters, anarchists, anybody that's going to take advantage of the destruction that's around you, right? So you always want to be armed to be able to protect yourself and those that you love. Now, the best weapon is always going to be a firearm, right? A concealed handgun, a concealed rifle, something that you know you can count on. But bad things can happen, right? You know that you could have it confiscated, it could be lost, it could be stolen, it can run out of bullets. It can fall prey to the elements where parts get rusted and it's no longer operational. You never want to be unarmed, so you might be forced to be able to, to improvise your own weapons from things that you find in your surroundings. Okay? So I was recently talking with Kevin Reeve of OnPointTactical.com, and Kevin's a, a noted survival expert. We were talking about improvised weapons. What he recommended was really cool. He talked about for your bug out bag actually creating an improvised weapon survival kit. Okay, a, a toolkit. And so I want to show you what he told me to put in the toolkit and a couple of things I added on my own. But what's cool about this is it all fits inside of one little Altoids can. Let me show you what's in it right now. Okay, one of the things that you're going to want to have, but you might not, you're not going to be able to fit it inside the can, that tin, is going to be some 550 cord. And of course, every survivalist has tons of 550 cord on them, right? This can be used for bow strings. You can even use the, the internal nylon strings inside the 550 cord uh, to weave into a bow string. Works really, really well. You can use it for fastening stuff, things like that. The other thing is going to be a good multi tool. Now, this is the Spider Wrench from Spider Co. I like this one. I, I have several that are on me. But um, I like this one, I'll show you why here in just a second. Let's take a look at what's actually inside of the, the tin. Okay, so when we open it up, we've got a bunch of stuff we can stuff in here. So one thing is metal, it's aluminum wire. And you find this in uh, for picture hanging and stuff like that. What I like about the metal wire is that when you need to fasten things that you really don't want to let loose, like 550 cord nylon can loosen up at times. If you're making arrows and stuff like that and you're trying to connect the, uh, the, the arrowhead, the wire works really well because you can really, like it's, it's very flexible, you can get a good tight grip on it, but it also will stay in place. So it'll give you a, a longer lasting. You can use it for, for fastening a lot of stuff. Um, I also like to put in an actual bowstring. This is a real bowstring that you could use. You could just, you know, all, then all you do is have to make the bow. But it doesn't weigh anything, doesn't take up much room, and it works better than trying to weave together some stuff if you need to. Uh, surgical hosing is really, really good because not only can you use it for medical purposes, but you can use it for a slingshot or you can use it for fashioning some sort of a bow or something like that. There's a lot that you can do with this, with this surgical hosing. Another thing are, I love uh, hose clamps. Hose clamps you can use for a lot of stuff, and, and you can actually, um, well, you can use them for, like, auto repairs even, stuff like that. But I like them because they don't take up a lot of room, and they're really good for getting a good fastening down on all sorts of things, whether it's attaching a, um, like, a, a spear point to a, a stick or a PVC pipe or something like that. But these work out really, really well. Uh, duct tape is another another easy thing. You probably have a bunch of it inside of your bug out bag as well, but you can just put a little bit inside of the, of the Altoids can as well. Um, and then also, I mean, this is, truly is a tool kit. So having some sort of a drill, something that you can use for making holes will help you fasten things a lot more securely. So if you are fastening like your survival knife to a stick or something like that, a lot of survival knives have holes in the handle and you need to make a good, a good strong hole through a piece of wood, a metal PVC pipe, something like that. These drill bits are actually made for metal and uh, they'll also work on plastic and wood. And what I like about them is that they have a hex bottom on it and with my spider wrench it has a hex fastener in here. So all you can do is just put it in there. They have different sizes here and from there you can just open this thing up and now I've got a good drill that I can use for all sorts of, you know, just being able to fasten stuff together. So again, this is just kind of a simple kit that you can put together and just keep in your bug out bag. Let's see what we can do with this though. Let's, let's try and fashion a couple of, of weapon, improvised weapons to be able to show you what we can do. All right, let's take a look at some of the weapons that we were able to fashion from just building materials that I found in this kind of abandoned urban area. 
Uh, one thing I found is an impact weapon. So as it's a great improvised impact weapon. It's a piece of rebar, and a lot of rebar you can find in any sort of a destroyed environment. It's a building material they use for concrete, right? What's cool about rebar is that it's really solid metal. It's also very thin, so when you strike something with it, all of the force goes into a very small area. That's what makes it really, really powerful. It's better than a baseball bat or anything that's, that's really thick like that. But what's bad about it is that rebar, is because it's very thin, it's hard to get a grip on. So all I did was take a handkerchief and some cloth, take the, um, take the uh, duct tape from the improvised weapon tool kit, wrap it around there, and now I've got a really good grip on this with um, a very spongy grip, and I can get a good hold on it. It's very thick. I can really use this as an improvised impact weapon. But let me show you this one. This is the one I'm, I'm most excited about. So what I did was there was a piece of PVC pipe here uh, in the property and so what I did was I just cut off about a foot and a half piece of it and took the hose clamp and the surgical tubing and all I did was just take the hose clamp and uh, fashion the surgical tubing like this to make what I'm calling a zip bow and uh, what's really cool about this is that it works just like a zip gun only uh, and I'll use an arrow for this uh, you could make your own arrow obviously you could improvise something out in the wilderness or whatever from your surroundings, there's all sorts of things. Kevin, uh, Kevin told me you could even use uh, spokes from a from a bicycle tire. I'd never heard of that before. But what's cool about this is that just the, the tube acts as a guiding, and all you do is just put it back here in the surgical tubing, pull it back, and it works just like a, a bow. At short distances, it can be pretty accurate with it. So we'll have it, give it a test right now. As you can see, you're really only limited by your creativity when it comes to improvised weapons. So here's what I want to hear from you. What would you add to your own improvised weapons toolkit to be able to put in your bug out bag? Go ahead and leave your comments and feedback below this video. I look forward to hearing from you. Now, for our next episode, what I want you to do is go check out Kevin Reeves' website at onpointtactical.com and make sure that you get a free subscription to our magazine at moderncombatandsurvival.com. Until our next episode, this is Jeff Anderson saying train hard, stay safe, prepare now. Thank <laughs> you.